Welcome back, everybody. So this is King Ray Ray, Ray and I'm your host for this evening. Now, let's get started with Chapter 2 of Silver Lock. <clears throat> Judas Iscariot. What an odd name to give one's child. Betrayer is the only thing that comes to mind when I contemplate on that name. What's wrong with me? Why am I thinking the way I am? Mr. Scariot has done nothing to warrant these judgments. It was lunchtime before I realized it. Just before Mr. Scariot left the room to go on his break, my cousin walks in to greet me. Or so he was before his eye was caught by our substitute teacher. What are you doing here? His voice rose above that of the crowd, turning heads as he points at Mr. Iscariot. Leave at once. You are not welcome here. Not here or anywhere. This will be the first time I have heard my kind-hearted cousin actually say such things with such anger. Let alone the look on his face wasn't something you saw every day. Even though a lot of people would say that they hate someone, in reality, they don't feel true hatred, and it's only the fact that they find them very annoying and dislike them a lot. But not this time. I can see it plain and clear on his face. Absolute disdain. Mr. Scariot looked at him with surprise in his eyes. Not surprise of what this random student had said. No. Surprise wherein the student was even there. As if he recognized the person and didn't realize he was going to school here. Just as quickly as he was surprised, Mr. Iscariot recomposed himself back to his chilled out, I don't care, look he protrudes. And who are you, may I ask? Those words caught my cousin off guard. What did you say? I said, Who are you? He repeated himself more deliberately than need be, as if to mock. You son of a... He raised his hand against Mr. Iscariot, but I stopped him before he could do anything rash. Don't do anything you would regret... I tell him. With that, Mr. Scariot left without another word. Over lunch, my cousin and I didn't speak very much. I can only suppose he is still mad at me for defending my substitute teacher. At the end of lunch, the principal showed up at our class and asked to speak to my cousin. For a short time, they talked and then left. I guess I'll ask him when we get home what happened. After school, on my way out, Mr. Iscariot stopped me and handed me a small brown parcel with no markings on it. Open it when you get home. It's a present from me to you. Don't worry, everyone in the class has one. For the entirety of walking home, I wondered what it was. Why would the substitute teacher give a gift to everyone in the class on his first day working here? Let alone, it looked like it was wrapped in a brown lunch bag. Once home, I look for my cousin right away, curious as to why the principal asked him, not asked for him. Hey, peep squeak, you know where he is? No, he hasn't come home yet. My sister answered me quickly while not taking her eyes off of the TV screen. It has been several years since she's been to a school, and every time our aunt asks if she would rather go to a real school instead of being homeschooled, she goes very quiet for a couple days. She won't speak of what happened four years ago, and my aunt won't force her either. Where could that guy have run off to? I frowned and walked to my room. Once settled down, I remembered that I have placed the package given to me by Mr. Scary on my desk underneath my homework. Out of curiosity, I opened it right away. The paper wrapped a crimson red cardboard box, 
Inside of the box was lots of cotton, and in the middle of the cotton was a silver locket with a cross embedded in its casing. It was nice looking and very expensive at that. Opening it, I realized right away that it wasn't just a locket, but a pocket watch. And the numbers were in Roman numerals, but its small hand was missing. Why would he give us a defective watch? Well, I understand that this week's chapter was a bit short, but I didn't want to keep you waiting for too long. So, uh, if you enjoyed, please hug that like button, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye now, and enjoy.